Hello, so I want to introduce our next module, which is called Best Practices, and it's really about what makes some science synthesis better than others? What makes some uh, approaches to coordinating and presenting science more effective at management? And I'm here in Lewiston, Idaho. This is a park, it's called Skinner Canyon. It's managed by the city of Lewiston uh, Parks and Rec. And uh, as sort of a multi-purpose uh, facility, and this is uh, an interesting place for a couple of reasons. You know, we have a project down here to help the city monitor soil erosion on these multi-purpose recreation trails that go through this canyon here behind me. But it's an interesting place because it's really this uh, wild urban interface, and it's this juxtaposition of all of these different land uses and these different um, uh, sort of values and disturbances. So we've got uh, urban development and urban spread. We have agriculture, we have recreation, um, all happening in this certain or this small area. And then we also have things like fire. Um, we have invasive species. You know, there's a really healthy stand of thistle right here behind me that's uh, not a lot of fun to play around in. So. So there's, there's a lot going on here that could benefit from the best available science. And that's really the purpose of, of these syntheses that we're talking about in, in this class. And so in this module, we're gonna spend some time looking at what makes a synthesis effective and, uh, and how the sort of authors that write these syntheses, how they structure their story and how they present the information uh, in order to be effective. And we're gonna do that through reading uh, some syntheses and, and picking them apart and critiquing them. And when you, when you do that, when you critique your synthesis uh, for this module, I'd like you to pay particular attention to what's not there. So it's, it's easy to read something and, and say, okay, yes, this is what they presented and they did an effective job at presenting this information, but, but really dig deep into this and, and think about what are the missing pieces? What information is, is not presented that would be really useful? And then you can start asking the questions of, okay, well, does that information exist? Um, or did they, uh, were they selective at presenting the information they had? And so this module is gonna really be important for the work that we do through, throughout the rest of the class. Um, so yeah, so this module, uh, best practices, we'll start looking at what makes science synthesis effective.